Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. With today's puzzle, or to be exact, it's a puzzle box. It's called the Romanian Puzzle Box, made in Romania, Transylvania to be exact. Home of Dracula, by the way. And it's a beautiful looking puzzle box with a glossy finished, uh, finish, as you can see. Entirely made out of wood, except these two hinges here, as far as I can see. And according to the manufacturer, it's handmade. So when I bought this some months ago on Etsy, there have been a few variants available. In the meanwhile, it's available in a lot of shops. So I will put you some links in the video description where you can get it. It's available in different size. It's available in different colors. So pretty cool. All of them are somehow hand engraved here with some of these nice pictures. And it's really reasonable for the price. Okay, so there are um, different sizes and they are reaching from, I think, nine of these pieces until five of these pieces. I think on, um, based on this, you can um, just check out the size. Um, overall, that's it pretty much. I'm really interested to see how to open it up and how big the compartment inside really is. And I would propose, I will just start or try to solve this one after the spoiler break. As usual, before I start solving the puzzle, I will start the stopwatch that you can have an impression how difficult and how long it will take me to solve it. I do not expect it to be too difficult. So let's just um, have a look at it and see what we can already understand by looking at it. So there are two hinges back here made from metal. There is a small gap between the lid up here and the puzzle, but it seems to be completely fixed, yeah? So there's no movement at all. I push here, nothing is moving. And here in the front. Oh, this one is somehow loose, okay? So as you can see here, these are all fixed. And this one, it seems to be loose. So it's somehow blocked here by this thing down here. And if I look down here, you can see there is a small gap down here. Very small, at least it's not really a gap. It's just a line, no free play in it. But... Oh yeah, you see this? You can move this over here. And then... sure how to do it there uh, is no no gap here so I cannot move this to the front but maybe this one is still blocked but maybe this looks somehow like a slider here and it, mm. oh yeah you see this oh this is pretty cool here this is pretty well hidden so actually in this condition you cannot see it at all you move this one to the front, you have this slider here, and you need to go inside here to slide it to the front. Pretty cool move. Now we can look inside here. There's basically just a... It looks like a small compartment down here. Hard to see because there gets no light inside, but there are two screws here to the, on the top. And the piece here in the in the middle, you can see it here. There's something inside here, like a small latch or something. So I can move this to the front and rear. But I can already see when looking inside that it won't help me here to move this piece up or down. So there must be another trick. And let's see if I maybe... Oh! Oh yeah, you see this? Watch this. I can shift this one back. Actually, I wanted to lift the lid up here, but when I tried to lift it, I pressed this one down, as you probably saw. And this enables me now to slide this one down. There is a keyhole, a small keyhole inside here, but no, no key. 
Oh yeah, I didn't saw this one. There is our <laughs> our high tech security key hidden in the puzzle. And now let's see. I want to break it. Not really working, I think. Is there maybe another trick? Don't want to break it. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. Even with a small mirror here. So, what is this for? And another compartment. <laughs> so this is pretty cool, okay? So you have three compartments actually in one single box, okay? The first one is over here. The second one in here, this is the beautiful one. And I will just check the size for you. This one is about 11.5 centimeters times 6.5 and the depth without these pieces here the depth is around three centimeter okay so perfectly for a small christmas gift i think and there's another compartment inside here and this is pretty cool because this is very well hidden unfortunately this mirror is a little bit loose so you somehow need to increase the friction inside here to make it stick a little bit better but, um, and I think this is why this small sponge here was inside. To just, just keep the mirror in place in case you shake it and move it and keep it from falling out. This is probably the reason for this one. I maybe would put, put something here behind the mirror to increase the friction a little bit so you won't need this. Or you just cu cut a small piece from this one and put it behind. And... The key and the lock could be a little bit better, to be honest. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. It's not too difficult. So it's I think it's perfectly um, for someone who's not that experienced with puzzles. The key is working a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult to rotate. But it's doing its job. Moving this latch here open and close. As you can see, after a few times, it maybe gets a little bit easier. And yeah, that's it pretty much. I will just lock it again. Close it here. Lock it with the key. Oh, I locked it already. Just a second. Lock it again. I'm, I don't trust this key. <laughs> and um, put this one back in. Like so. Shift it to the front. Put the key down here, this piece of wood, in this gap, that it will remain in position. And put the key together with the piece of wood inside here. And then Close it again. Back in position. Pretty cool puzzle box. Regarding the difficulty, I would rate it maybe, took me now seven and a half minutes. Nevertheless, I would rate it maybe only with a two, even if there are several steps required. It's not very difficult to find them, yeah, based on yeah, what, what's available. But nevertheless, I think this is pretty much the coolest level two puzzle box I ever reviewed so far. Maybe I will give it to someone as a Christmas present with some something inside with some gift inside. Pretty cool idea, pretty cool design, absolute recommendation. And I'm absolutely fascinated about this puzzle. It's made for an absolute reasonable price. And if you consider that it's handmade and with all these engravings, it's it's incredible, yeah, how this is possible to do for such a low price. I hope you like this episode. I hope you like this puzzle. Let me know in the comments. And um, of course, I put you the link in the video description as usual if I find some of these products. And just comment below, 
You can also like my Facebook and Instagram channel, of course, if you'd like to learn more about puzzles. And until next time, later this week, keep on puzzling.